like 16. And I just woke up. I woke up at 6. I basically didn't really fall asleep, but I woke up at 6 because my bandmates arrived at the airport. And now I'm waiting for their arrival and kind of just prepping my room in case they want a nap because I can only imagine it's been a long night and it's going to be a long day. So here we go, a day in the life of rehearsing and playing a show. sweaty clothes I was like do I shower is that a thing um I think <clears throat> I'm also slightly losing my boys I am going to take a shower and then most likely go to bed um the show was great so it was in Hamilton and it was a live stream but at least 50 people could come there wasn't 50 people it was probably like 10 or 15 which was really nice just to have like an audience and they weren't like they literally just had to sit in their little groupings which was cool and they had the little table and all the stuff and so it was nice and just to see people like appreciate it but also get into it and um dance in their chairs and all the stuff like it was just a nice feeling to you know kind of get back to it and um leading up to the show was kind of stressful <laughs> Mind you, because this show was supposed to happen in like April, 
February, then April, then May, then it got postponed, and then finally happened in September. But my original band was no longer available for this date, so I had hired a couple of local guns, local guns, like a, a couple of local musicians who tour with, you know, some great artists in the city, and both of them had to pull out, and one actually pulled out a week before the show. Fabulous. It was just great. Great for my entire being. Um, no, it was actually really stressful. And so I ended up flying out both my drummer and bass player from Edmonton who flew in on the red eye and they got here six o'clock in the morning and then got to my place by like seven and then we all took naps <laughs> till like 9.30, uh, 9.30, 10. We were out of here by 10.30 um, and then went to rehearsal, which was at 11, to run through the set. And I think I really lucked out because they all know the songs. It was just like, okay, let's refresh, let's play them in this order, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, work on transitions, etc. And then, um, from rehearsal, we went straight to lunch and then straight to driving to Hamilton. And it was supposed to take us an hour. It took us an hour and 45 minutes. Like, the traffic was horrible. It was like you drive really fast and then you slow down and then you drive and you slow down. And we were not feeling it. Like, I was getting not motion sickness, but I was feeling some kind of way. Like, it was not, not fun. And so we got there, had plenty of time. It was an easy setup. It's drums, bass, tracks, vocal. Uh, easy enough setup to, you know, sound check and whatever. And then doors opened at six, played an hour set at seven, landed, like, finished right at eight o'clock, which is actually a really proud thing. <laughs> I'm really proud of that because that means, like, all my timing and all that stuff worked. <laughs> Um, yeah, finished at 8, and then we actually headed back to their hotel by the airport, um, just had dinner at the restaurant there, and then I took an Uber back home, because it was just easier, they had the rental car, um, and then I just have to pay for, like, my way home, so, all in all, a very good night, um, it was nice to get back to it, um, definitely highlights a lot of things I need to work on but it's been like a year since I've done anything. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, but yeah, I think it was a fun time with like great people and I'm just really grateful to be home and I'm gonna go makeup, mom makeup. Um, which I'm actually, it actually stayed on pretty good. I did this in the green room. So that was a day in a life of a musician or a recording artist performing during COVID, but she also forgets to record half the time because she's just busy doing the thing, um, which is something I'm gonna work on, but it's, I was talking to the guys about it, it's really hard to, like I plan to bring my camera and I plan to record these things, but if I'm the one running around organizing stuff, like it's hard to also then pull out a camera with like my third arm and try to record me as I'm doing all these things. Like it's just, yeah, it's, I'm working on it. Well, good night. And if you like this video, uh, subscribe, turn on the notifications, hit the bell, do all the things, comment below. Yeah, I just wanna kind of bring you into what it looks like to do this as like your career on like an indie level. Because it's possible, you just have to want it. And it's really hard right now with COVID and like no shows, barely any shows, all the shows canceling, all that stuff. But just seeing the joy in people's faces that they were actually able to go to a concert and like 
experience live music. Like, it's a thing. It's a real thing, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. So, have a good night!